Voila! I'm MJ. I'm the founder of Ultra Love, and I like to do these daily readings to get a vibe check, a kind of energetic collective stamp on the day. I'm, as I said, I'm the founder of Ultra Love, and uh, this is an online brand dedicated to sustainability, spirituality, freedom. I offer online yoga and tarot. There's merchandise, online courses, and a book called The Fearless Life Guide, an Ultra Love product, project, pardon me. <laughs> Let's get into this reading for March 27th. It's a really good friend's birthday today. Happy birthday. You know who you are. Let's get into it. Divine guidance and loving clarity is my intention with tarot. Divine guidance and loving clarity. Let's see what energies we get for the Ultra Love Collective. March 27th, 2024. Feel free to check out the YouTube channel, Ultra Love TV, where I've just posted all of the April 2024 readings. And my Patreons get ad-free first access and exclusive content. So let's get into it. Divine Guidance, Love and Clarity for this Ultra Love Collective. There you are. There you are. That's a, boop. That's a fire sign. And we're feeling lucky. Some of you might be attracting this fire sign in, but I'm definitely feeling like it's more you, the fire sign. We are in airy season, right? So feeling lucky. I think you're in maybe negotiations about... Um, Mm, like possibly a business thing three of pentacles to me is like you know having meetings with investors or even that idea of like having a meeting with a few good friends or a few people in the community to structure in the foundational support to then evolve this business i think i think for some of you you might be feeling pretty um yeah like pretty stoked about it pretty excited about it with that nine of heart it's like um whoop. I'm here, I'm here. I just dropped a bunch of cards. Um, so uh, that nine of cups is like a wish fulfillment. It's a really good feeling card, right? And I'm looking down, I'm looking at the 10 of pentacles, you guys. Uh, I, I must say, I would say, if any of you are worried at all, I would say, don't worry. <laughs> You're definitely in the upright here. Uh, there could be a bit of a slow build, okay? So I'm just saying, this is a business. You're at the Three of Pentacles. There is a foundational support here, as in, um, this is good. It's positive, right? It's just the queen, the King of Wands here is sort of signaling to me with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. It's like, you just, it's just the typical thing of having to put in. The cards are flying everywhere today. I'm gonna leave that. That, um, it just might be, as per usual, that you've, it's like, a garden just doesn't, well, it does actually, in a sense. <laughs> I was going to say, garden just doesn't grow. I don't know where I'm like, well, yeah, it just grows wild. More to the point, I was thinking about like a veg patch. You know, we don't tend to, the, we don't kind of like, pl uh, what's the word? Prune the soil. Gardeners, fellow gardeners, not fellow, I'm not a gardener, but help me out. <laughs> what is it? Not pruning, tending to, like just, you know, like preparing the soil. So if you don't put seeds in the soil, you're just going to wait there. You're just going to wait around. Or you're just going to keep like playing around with the soil. It's pretty. But if you're just playing with the soil and you're not actually kind of taking the action steps to put the seeds in and to then give them time to, I want to say germinate, but I don't know if that's the word. And then, and then grow out of the soil. Like you're not just going to sit there after tending to the soil and be like, where's my plants <laughs> or where's my vegetables? It's like, well, you have to plant the seeds, my lovers. You've got to plant the seeds. I'm saying all this because I like to ramble, but actually uh, I would say for most of you, these seeds are growing. Your whatever seeds you planted maybe three months ago or Mm, it could be connected to this eclipse portal too, as far as like, yeah, you could be planting seeds, you could be growing a new garden, you might be growing a new business, you might be setting the stage to move forward. You're definitely coming off as like strong. There's a tower reverse. I, I can interpret towers really lots of different ways, whether they're upright or in the reverse. Yeah, okay, so this is this is okay. It's like knowing that disruptions or knowing that 
things that don't work out are definitely, I know this is, it's like the cliche, but like, that's not meant for us. It's actually part of our evolution in a positive way. Okay. So things come down, things didn't work out in our past and they were not meant to. And at this stage with the magician, I think you're ready to take a new step. I think you're ready to like create what you want to create. I now notice there's like a butterfly creature with her there or like a moth of sorts. And interestingly, I'm noticing the hat is translucent or like, you know, you can see the hand through the hat. And that is giving me a feeling of something like something about the illusion of it. Like, um, I know the depth of pain in the raw life. What is what the heck is this? Right. But. Um, but there's a deeper recognition here of sort of acknowledging the illusion of it all, of, which is connected simplicity to the fact that we all uh, die. And that one thing that is a constant is change. Constant change is, is, is the one thing that's kind of always happening, right? And so the, it's like recognizing the kind of ever changing fluidity of your life and that that might help you step into this new mode of creation. Some of you be mindful, there's the Empress and there's a very obvious baby in this Empress card. So that makes, and another 10 of Pentacles for some of you. Yes, okay, okay. The pen, in this card, I, I do often think of inheritances. I think of a patriarchal figure in our, in our familial lineage uh, passing away and see how they're all dark, like coming together um, for uh, a, a wake or whatever it is and then having discussions about what to do with the estate, right? So for some of you that, that could be happening, that could be a thing. I'm also getting a baby here with, so so if you're wanting to get pregnant, be aware that this could be a portal of <laughs> creativity, uh, but I'm also getting a sense of like, for some of you, there could be a lot of new creative ideas being born in your bosom. <laughs> uh, and, or for some of you, there could be this inception of wanting to give birth so, um, I'm looking at that card. Look at the crown there too. The baby wears a crown. So maybe it's about crowning your new ideas, crowning your new life, giving it, giving yourself a bit of time. There's a lot of abundance here. There's a nine of, there's, oh, wait, wait, hold the phone. There's a nine of cups, feeling lucky, reigning supreme. And there's two ten of pentacles with your... King of Wands energy right in the dang, bang, dang center. <laughs> Self-awareness. I think maybe a lot of you have just gone through a significant maturation process. And for those of you in relationship, it also could be that the relationship is taking on a new magical meaning or that the spouse, like maybe it's your spouse who inherits a bit of money. Uh, either way, there's seemingly a lot of money coming in. And uh, at the same time, if you're starting businesses or working, collaborating with other people to start businesses, this is coming off really, really positive, like making you feel really good, possibly avoiding chaos and things falling apart. Often if we're guided to make certain moves, it's warranted, right? Because it's uh, helping us avoid chaos further in the future. But often is the case that tower moment, like anything that's meant to go is going to go and having that serenity and or uh, will of acceptance can help usher us into the new phase, which for you guys is super duper abundant here. So trust in that process. All right, my lovers, have a wonderful day. Thanks for being my internet friends. Feel free to check out all the stuff that I sell in the brand. Um, and thanks for your likes and follows and your comments. I super do appreciate it. And if you find these videos useful, feel free to share them with family and friends. Have an awesome day, you guys. What day is it now? It's Wednesday, Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. Have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Peace out.